Hi guys, so today we are going to talk about seven year olds and hormones, which I did not know was a combo. So this past, I want to say at least a week, probably maybe a little bit more, Jeffrey, who is our oldest, he is going to be seven in May, so in a couple months, has been extremely emotional, like to the point that stuff is making him just sob uncontrollably. And it's not things that should be like the other day, he was carrying a board game into his room and he must have been holding like the lid and not the base, you know, the bottom. So the bottom fell out and all the pieces went on the floor. And I kid you not, it was an instant crocodile tears, sobbing, complete meltdown because the game fell. And it was like, it's, it's fine. Like I said to him, I'm like, it's perfectly fine. He was like maybe six feet away from me. So I was right there when it happened. And I'm like, it's happened. It's like, you know, you just weren't holding it right. It's okay. We'll clean it up. I helped him clean it up so upset and that was the first time I noticed it and then it's just like gotten progressively worse and it's even happening at school so I was actually really concerned because I'm like this is weird like especially because he's a boy I was like I didn't think boys got like that hormonal like I know that we go through puberty and I'm expecting that but I like I didn't think it happened early so I actually put it up on Facebook because I have a lot of friends who either had a baby before I had Jeffrey like a lot of us were pregnant around the same time or you know they had their kids and then I found out I was pregnant and then somewhere after. So there's a lot of us who have children who are around the same age. So I threw it out there and every single one of them was like, yes, it is a thing. Apparently it's once you're like out of that toddler preschool age, you're down into this child and it's for some reason we get massive hormones and it is horrible. And I was, oh my goodness, it's even affecting him at school, which is so, I feel so bad because Jeffrey, oh, what's the matter? Did you, can you get it? Mia's cup was stuck in her cup holder. So anyways, I, I felt bad because he was having trouble at school also because of this. He was getting extremely emotional. And if you guys do not know, Jeffrey has autism. So he has struggles of his own. He has been doing fantastic. And that's why it kind of was shocking me that he's been having trouble. And he was even having the, um, he was having some issues even before he started getting emotional. I noticed we were having a little downward spiral a little bit and I wasn't sure what it was. And now I think it was this coming on, like it, that's where it started. So I feel bad because he's been working so hard at school that now it's like, we're taking three steps back, which I know happens with kids with autism, but it's so frustrating because he's been working so, so hard. But yeah, no one ever told me that there was seven year old hormones. And let me tell you, they're a mess. We were talking this morning on the way to school um, I was asking Jeffrey a question and he started telling me about it. And then I asked a follow-up question because I was a little confused and he got so upset about the situation that we were talking about. It was something at school that again, it was a complete meltdown and sobbing again. I'm like, and what he was telling me, like it wasn't something that should have made you upset. So I was like, he has just no idea how to control all the emotions going on in his body. And I feel so bad. I just want to, I just want to give him a big hug all the time because he's just so upset. The, well, there was one day over the weekend that he asked me to fill his cup. His cup was empty. And I said, okay, I'll fill it for you. And then Mia had a massive diarrhea. So it was like, uh, you know, it was funny. So it was ended up like, and, and I had to change her cause it was, you needed an assistant. So we cleaned her up, <coughs> excuse me. And then I like washed my hands and then I think something else happened. So I started taking care of that. And then I completely forgot about Jeffrey's water. Now, mind you, this had maybe only been five minutes tops since the first time he asked me, he literally came over to me sobbing again, going, you forgot my water. I was like, Oh my, like I fell hard. I was like, I'm so sorry, but I'm like, it's okay. It's not worth crying over. Like I was trying to reassure him that it's okay. You know, you saw that, you know, mommy and daddy were taking care of me and I'm like, I totally forgot. It's okay. All you needed to do was just ask me again. We didn't have to, you know, melt, but I just feel so bad. And I wish I could just take it away from him. And I'm like, if this is a preview of what teenagers are going to be like in my house, I, I kind of want, just don't want to deal with it now. <laughs> like it's, oh, it's so, I feel so bad for the little guy, but yeah, here's a heads up. If you have a child that's around seven years old, be prepared for these hormones because they are coming and it's, oh my Lord, I'm, 
it's like I just when I thought okay Jeffrey was it was getting easy he was so self-sufficient and he's like now we're dealing with hormones like I I feel like I'm not winning over here it's just one thing after another and it's just so frustrating but you are not alone it happens to every child so just prepare yourself now now you know